You're listening to Petrified. This episode, 12 pubs. One. One. Right. What are we having? Oh, I'll get this one, Forky. Start off slow, I'll have a bud. Good man, Crane, so I'll have the same so. I'll get these, Forky. I said I'll get these, Colm. If you're sure. What are you having? Uh, what are you getting? We just said two beers. Uh, oh, uh, I'll have a Chardonnay. <coughs> Sorry? White. A white wine. Uh, whatever they have. <laughs> Grand. Uh, d- there's a table, Cranes. Will I grab it? No, we're standing. We'll be in and out. I can't really down white wine. Then why did you order it? I... I like it. Have you all your Christmas shopping in? Funnily enough, no. You'd want to hurry up. Nearly there. I have to wait till payday. Oh, I see. I'd say you've yours done. I start in November. I like to spend a week or so leading up to the big day, wrapping everything and watch a good bit box set. Well, for some... Sure you finish at five every day, dependable hours, so you can plan? Yeah, your shifts are all over the place. That's mad. You should ask about it. Should I? Thanks. It never would have occurred to me. Nope. Here you go, Cranes. First point of the night. And there's your little bottle of Chardonnay, Colm. I asked especially. Thanks muchly. Are you gonna... Are you gonna keep up the Chardonnays for the night, Colm? No, I can swap. Right. Down it. Two. two! Dose! Of course you couldn't just say two, Colm. <laughs> My shout. Same again. Same again. Do you want a Chardonnay, Colm? Well, any white wine at all will do. Seats? I'll grab them. Sure we'll be in and... Good man, Forky. Come on, Collie Wobbles. Quit your dawdling. Oh, okay. <laughs> and it's an, um... Anything good on your phone, Forky? What? That, that just goulash was supposed to be joining us. Who's that now? The security guard. Of the warehouse? No, Colm, of the crown jewels. I thought it was just going to be the three of us. It was supposed to be the three of us. But no harm. Sure, when you're out, you're out. You're a gas man, Colm. Thank you. You, uh, you enjoying the office? I'd say Richard is a real sap. Yes, and not really. Not really what? You don't want to say Richard is a sap? I'm not going to rat you out, Colin. I just don't think he's a sap. I do. There wasn't any Chardonnay. That's okay. I can see why you don't like Richard Cranes. He can be a bit overbearing. But you don't think he is? Goulash is going to meet us at Pub 5. We'll have to down these. Just a quick toilet break. Back in a minute. Do you think we're saps, Colin? Not at all, Cranes. Do you think I am? What was your last job like? Yeah, it was good. Uh, Same as here. IT. With a bit of office work. I enjoyed it. It was more money anyway. It's nice when, you know, your job reflects what you studied. You don't want to feel uni was a bust. But it went kablooey, like most places now. So you only joined us because of the recession? Obviously. Hmm. Uh, But this job is great too. You're all very welcoming. We try to be. What's the crack like in the office? Must be like another world, very, you know, removed from the day-to-day workings of the warehouse. Does it feel kind of us and them? Uh, not at all. As you know, we have to walk through the warehouse to get to the office. So that's a real chance to feel connected. You're a slow old drinker. Finished. I'll wait for Forky to come back so he doesn't feel like he's holding us up. Oh, Grant. See if you can see goulash. Oh, I need another slash. Five. My shout again. I'm going to go for a water this time. You can't. Okay. A baby Guinness. Like a half pint? No, it's a shot, but it's sweet. Grant, whatever. No goulash and no text. <sighs> sure, we'll sit down and wait for him. I don't think I've met him. Ah, he's great crack. He's just out of prison. For what? Robbing, fighting, something, anyway. You're looking a bit peaky. No, feel it, Mary. Happy Christmas to you. Mm-hmm. And you. Why doesn't Cranes like me? Because you were the one who told everyone they had to take a pay cut two weeks before Christmas. I thought you were going to deny it and say he does like me. Oh no, he doesn't like you at all. Was he not making it clear? 
he was. Y- you know you're shooting the messenger. I didn't decide about the pay cuts. Sure, I'm not the boss. It was Richard. I was just... Represented him. We're not simpletons down on the warehouse floor. We know it was Richard. But you're an office head. And you're representing him. <laughs> Maybe I should just go home. I think it's best if you stay. For you. Cranes on the lads can be a bit uh, vindictive. Best to get in with him now or it won't be the nicest place to work. Get him chatting when he's locked. Vindictive? How so? <sighs> if you say anything... Nobody will back you up, right? Right. So, Ponzi Alex, who you replaced, the metal door and the rubbish crusher wasn't secured and swung down and mashed his hand. And that was Cranes? Who didn't secure it on purpose? I'm saying nothing. But it was Alex who complained about the lads having a smoke at the loading bay door, said the smoke was blown back into the warehouse. That's horrible. That's, it's not even a prank. It's wounding someone. What's not a prank? very awkward trying to carry a shot glass when you're holding two pints as well. You can't do the three-pint pyramid hold. You should have gotten a tray. Oh, down in one, Colm. Nice job. It's a shot. It's not hard. Un, deux, trois, quatre, cinq, six, sept. That's one to seven in French, Cranes. I know that. Then repeat it. Me up again. Jesus, can you believe we're only at the halfway mark? We're past it. I'll have a daiquiri, thanks. Look, Cranes, there's the table. We'll sit so nobody bumps me and spills my cocktail. Actually, I'm going for a smoke. I'll go with you. Forky. We're going out the back. Quite enough for a Friday. Probably because it's a dive. Each their own. Exactly. Hey, look at this. Whoa, whoa, whoa. See this, Cranes? The big bruise and the scab on my tie? Do you know what that's from? Did you ever see the desk chairs in the office? The seats are kind of spongy. I sat down and there was a big needle, like off a sewing machine, buried in the sponge. It went right in. Ouch. Can't figure out how it got stuck in there. We don't have a habit of sewing garments in the office. It's not part of the job description. Your point? I think it was you making the point. Like you did with Alexander. Ponzi Alex. His second name is Fry. You and your daiquiri, Colm. Hey, having to carry trays in a pub. Don't know how bar staff do it. Have I interrupted something? Just showing Dennis my arse. Dennis? <laughs> Listen, Goulash messaged me. He's gone out of town. Let's hop in a taxi for pub numero eight. Lucky to get a taxi with town being packed. You all right, Fox? Yes, Dennis. <laughs> oh. You know, now that we're sitting, I'm really feeling it. You've another five to go, lightweight. Are you sure this is where Google has said? It's starting to look like country roads outside. Yep. A little village with five pubs nearly on top of each other. In case we need to roll from one to the other. And no cues. I've never been out this way before. That's a cool story. Tell it again. (laughs) That was actually funny. You seem ready for a day's work, Cranes. Seven pints is a starter, pal. You'll both be better after the break. Roll down the window and get some air. (sighs) My granddad died out this way. Sorry? Yeah. Up in these hills. <clears throat> Mental story. He was a total dipso. That's an alcoholic to you, Colm. Lovely little pub with a wood fire up this direction he used to go to. <clears throat> Not where we're going, but near. Anyway, he got into an argument with some fella and got kicked out of the pub. Hmm. Only an hour for and they kicked him out in the dark on a country road. He'd usually get them to ring him the taxi, or they'd ring it for him when he was blacked out at a table. <laughs> He'd no mobile or anything. He was an elfler. Anyway, they found him stamped dead in a ditch. What? 
He said it looked like a horse had stamped and stamped and stamped on him. Not a person, anyway. In case, in case you're thinking it was the, the fella he had a fight with. It looked like hooves or something. Do you know what I thought when I was a kid? <laughs> I thought it was the devil. I always imagined if the devil lived anywhere, he'd live up in these lonely hills. Not in hell, but with all the, 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 the fires and all. Somewhere like here. Where he'd meet a traveller at the crossroads, challenge them to a... What you call it? A, a game of chance. And then, I don't know, stamp them to death when they lose. Here we are, men. I'll get this. So which pub is he in? Mm, one of them, anyway. Let's try the nearest one, then. This is lovely. You're well on. Ah, drink your drink. <laughs> A pint, finally. <laughs> Were you only ordering all them funny drinks to annoy cranes? No. I like funny drinks. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say this is what my granddad's pub was like. Nice and warm. Mm. I'd say half of them elflers only ended up being dipsoles for a bit of company. <laughs> That's a really horrible story, Forky. I'm sorry. You seem sober now as well. Yeah, looks like I'm the mess. Every gang should have one. He's gone for a smoke an awful long time. I think he has something else as well. A little you-know-what to keep him sober. Uh. And he wouldn't even share it. The hungry animal. Excuse me, boys. Can I join you? I want to get a heat off that fire. Oh, uh, all right. Hey, you called. You've had a few, mate. We're doing the 12 pubs. What number is this? 12? Eight. Another four to go. Mumbles will be lucky. <laughs> He's right there. He's dozed off. Oh, must be the heat. But we're determined. You from here? No, uh, we're meeting a friend, his friend. We're workmates. So there's more of you. I'm Nick. I'm Colm. Uh, nice to meet you. Sleeping Beauty here is Forky, and Cranes is outside. And we're looking for Ghoulish, although we've been chasing him all night. Weird name. Colm. Very good. You've got really nice hands. I'm sorry? I'm a painter. Sorry. I noticed these things. Oh, uh, that's fine. Not a problem. What do you do? You're not a builder. Put it that way. Uh, I, I work in... No, wait. Let me guess. If you want. How many guesses will you give me? Three. But what do you want if I don't get it in three? A pint? God, no. Can't be doing two pints in the one venue. You can give me... 20 quid for when I have to buy the next round. All right. You don't really need to give me 20 quid. No, no. A deal's a deal. So, first guess. Um, a concert pianist? <laughs> I wish. That's a pretty wild guess. Uh, remember I said I was out with my workmates? What do you think he is dozing beside me? A cellist? Second guess. You're a fine artist. You do portraits and the like. You've a very high opinion of me. One shot left. They were the warm-ups. It's the last one that counts. You never said what you'd win if you guessed right. Number three. My final guess. Hmm. Ah. Got it. I know what you are. Hi, Forky, up. I'm up. I'm up. Oh, Cranes, this is Nick. How are you? Come on now, up. Time for the next one. We're off, so. Happy Christmas, Nick. I'll see you again. 
God. That still counts as ten. Good man. Get, get it all up. Make room for more. I am roasting. Is everybody else roasting? Feeling it now, lads. Feeling it now. What? The drugs? What are you on about? Then you wouldn't even share it, you hungry animal. I'm high on life, mate. Ah, shut up. Or I'll stick a sewing needle in your arse. I'm going for a smoke. Well, I'll go with you. You have to watch him. I'll leave me alone, huh? Yeah, hold up there, Cranes. What's your problem with me? I'm no problem with you. You're just drunk. Is that not supposed to be the point of tonight? To get drunk? I don't know why you're even here, pal. It was supposed to just be us two and goulash. I'm trying to get you to like me. (laughs) Never gonna happen. It's because you think I'm gay, you homophobe. I'm gay, you sap. Well, I'm not. Then that's that. Oh, I'm sorry, Cray... Cranes. I am... How... How do, you, how, do, how do you find that, being that... Is it a struggle, you know, with today's world? I'm gay, I'm not an invalid. Sorry, I... Okay, um, well... Look, you don't like me because I'm the office... Because I'm in the office and you're in the warehouse, but that's not my fault. You made the choices you did. You could have worked in an office... I don't like you because you're awkward and no crack. You've nothing to say for yourself. It has nothing to do with you being in the office, you big-headed clown. Oh. Well, that's... me too. And you told us we were getting a pay cut two weeks before Christmas! Well, that wasn't my fault! What did you want me to do when you told us? Run up and kiss the face off you? I... I suppose you have a point. Then you didn't mash Andrew's hand in the door because he gave out about smoking. What? Oh, this is a disaster. Stay here, I'm getting him and we're going to go to the last two places. Do you not think we should give up? So you're giving in? You want to beat me because you can't beat me in the workplace. So you want to beat me at holding down the drink? How petty. You really are a prick. I just want another drink. Well, so do I. I am so right about everything. Colm, good man yourself. Listen to me. You won't be embarrassed about this in the morning. So don't apologize. Apologize. He's gone. Good. What? He's gone. Where? Spain. I don't bleed no. He's probably gone to the next pub. C- come on then. I was saying to myself, I'm not going to be sorry tomorrow. And when we get back into work, I'm going to twirl into the office chair and laugh out the window at you sweating carrying boxes. I hope one of them falls off Forky's forklift and whacks you on the head. Or mashes your fingers. Or sticks in your arse. Right. That's me told. Now pull yourself together or they'll kick us out. Hold on. You're a winner. You're number one. What are you doing? My mantras. Just get in. You big fool. You're going to be mortified tomorrow. What's that? A brandy. A brandy? I wasn't thinking. I thought I'd get it for you for the shock. I'm not shocked. I'm locked. Why does he get me paint stripper? The barman said Forky didn't come in here. He might have gone as sexy. Did you see a car? We were out in the road. That's nice, actually. So what do we do? Hey, maybe he met Goulash. Ring him. I don't have his number. Maybe they went to the last pub. Okay. Drink, quick. Oh, I'm going to vomit this down the front of myself. Colm. And Cranes. Nick. Who are you? You met me in the pub earlier. What are you doing? Following us? Are you doing the 12 pubs as well? No. I just realised we never finished our game. I can't even remember. What came? Uh, it was just a bet. I bet I have no patience for you, pal. 
We didn't say you could sit. Where's your friend gone? Sleeping Beauty. Mind your own business. We think he's gone to the last pub. Did he have a car? It's a bit of a trek. Maybe Goulash just drove. Goulash was drinking. Maybe they both got a taxi. Hey, maybe he got a taxi. We'll just have to check it quickly and then we can come straight back. I can give you a lift. You've been drinking as well. One hot whiskey won't push me over the edge. How far is this pub? It's not far, far. It's just mostly uphill. Oh, I, I couldn't manage that. Th- that's really sound, you, Nick. Okay, then, come on. What? Now? I have this brandy. Down it. Is this pub much further? Nope. Five minutes tops. Just have to go a bit slow on these dark and winding roads. That's a beetle, son. That's long and winding road. Huh. Did you think the five town pubs were in a row? Did you not think they were broken up like this? I didn't think anything. This is actually a bit of an infamous pub we're going to. The Grouse. Why is that, Nick? Nick, Lick, Brick. Yeah, I want to get sick. There was an old man found murdered in a ditch nearby. It was in the news. That's not this pub. We're gone the wrong way. Forky said... This is the only pub. Don't worry. It's this pub. This is a disaster. You seem a bit wired. Are you sure you were only drinking? Mind your own business. Greens. He's given us a lift. We wouldn't get your kind of development up here. So far from the city. Drink and more drink, that's all. What you're implying is insulting, mate. No. This is a lonely spot. We have to make our own fun. Cow tipping. <laughs> mm. Storytelling. There's loads of old tales, local legends, myths, shanaki, all that stuff. Cool. Well, I tell you one. To pass the time. The four minutes till we get there. It was five a minute ago, you said. Sure is. Well, seeing as it's after midnight, how about I tell you a creepy one? Ooh. Now, there's many a tale of ghosts and ghouls, but there's just as many stories about Old Scratch himself. You know who I mean, don't you? There's one in particular about how he gets really jealous at Christmas. Boo-hoo, why does nobody celebrate me and all that? So he heads out across the dark and silent hills to entertain himself, cause a bit of mischief. But how does he do that? Catches unwitting travellers in the night and challenges them to a game. This is like what Forky said. Sleep and beauty, I mean, Nick. Hmm? Did he? Well, now, the thing about Old Scratch is, he's a cheater. You can never win. And when the travellers lose, which they all eventually do, he gets to collect. This is ridiculous. Collect what? What do you think? And in the moments before he takes what he tricked them into giving, he makes them sit on the lonely road with their feet in the ditch looking at the stars for the last time so they'll realize just how much they lost there's the pub told you it wasn't fair come on you get up give us a pull up you big feck do you want me to wait Nope, I don't. Thanks for the lift. I don't mind. I said you can drive off. Have it your own way. Good luck. Happy Christmas, Nick. The lights are on, but nobody's home. Hello. Another cosy fire. It's a wonder there's any trees left. Spot the country pub. Look at this piece of paper on the counter. Back in 20, leave the money on the bar. Well, we may as well finish the 12 pubs. Do you know how to pull a pint? 
Two whiskeys, is it? We should have asked Nick to wait. Foggy, Foggy's probably blacked out in a snug in that last bar that we just walked past him. Probably. I'd love to know what happened to Goulash. When the landlord comes back, we can ask them to call us a taxi. So, so come here. My nemesis. How about a Christmas miracle? When we're in work, can we just get along? Why can't we all just get along? <laughs> Jesus. Even though I'm pissed, I can still tell that's a strong whiskey. Sure. We can be civil with each other. We're not going for drinks again, though. God, no. It does be a living hell. Well, cheers, Colm. We made it. You and I have completed the 12 pubs of Christmas. I hope you have a very merry one. And I mean that from the bottom of my heart. Ah, that is strong. The drink and the sentiment. I'm going out for a smoke before you tell me I'm your best friend in the world. Radio. I'll curl up beside the fire. Oh, will this night never end? Hello? Oh, for God's sake. There you are. Ah, sir. Could you call us a taxi? Oh, there you are. Hi, Callum. I know Cranes told me to go, but I couldn't just leave you up here on your own. Ah, you're so good. Well, as you can see, the elusive Forky, he's not here. So if you could bring us back down to the pub where you met us, I would be muchos gracias. <laughs> I don't think that's quite what you think it means. Hey, by the way, I never got the chance to tell you earlier. What's that? I figured it out. What you work at. I was forgetting all about that. Go on then. Am I a doctor? Or a surgeon? They've, they're have kind of the same thing, I suppose. No, no. You, my friend, work in IT. Oh, you're right. Now, it's time for your forfeit. Oh, yeah, I didn't tell you what it is. <laughs> All of your drunken, silly friends are waiting by the ditch out the back. Forky, you sap. Oh, we've been looking for you everywhere. Is that goulash? You've had us in a wild goose chase. Shh. Shh. Stop talking. What are you both doing? You're filthy. Get up, you two fools. Please. Please. Don't make any noise. Please. Just... Just look at the stars. Oh, my God. Twelve Pubs was written and directed by Peter Dunn. It was edited and produced by Liam Geraghty. It starred David Fennelly, Steve Murray... Rowan Finken and Danica O'D. You can keep updated with all things Petrified on Twitter and Instagram at petrified underscore pod. Petrified is funded by the Broadcasting Authority of Ireland with the television license fee.